Hey Ross, where my money makes money. You want to get married. Love and marriage, love and... But you're like, what is the right amount? How much should you spend? How much should you invest in getting married? Now, some people are just going to run out to the court building. They're, going, they're not going to spend any of their money. The most expensive thing is the ring, okay? Either for her or for him. Or if you, you do both him, him, and her, you know. You get what I'm getting at, whatever. That is the most expensive thing. So what is my take on the amount or the threshold you should not surpass or go above when we're talking about money? $5,000. People have written journals. People have written books. People have written all sorts of things telling you how to make a marriage beautiful and wonderful on a special occasion with $5,000 or less. That's the thing, guys. Now, maybe you've been married, maybe you are married, and you are still paying your wedding fees, okay? Maybe you had a wedding plan. Maybe you're still paying for your dress, or maybe you rent it. Maybe you're still paying for your tux, or you rent it, or whatever the case may be. You're still paying either for the wedding that you already had, or the wedding that you will have. $5,000, you could have been paid that back. Now, I would have saved up that $5,000 to have that wedding. Now, granted, let's take some time out for those who went straight to the court building to get married. I applaud you. I applaud you. Because this is the thing, guys. Really? Who is the wedding for? I know all y'all like her. Her and the family. Yeah, that's pretty much what most men think. Now, granted, some men will like enjoy a great wedding while all their friends and family come together to see him and his wife, okay? In a special moment that should only happen one time unless you get remarried just for shits and giggles. But um, but this is the thing. Marriage can be very, very expensive because you have the, the actual ceremony, right? And then you have the honeymoon. Now, granted, I don't, there is a tradition where the, the bride, her family pays for the wedding and then the groom pays his family pays for the honeymoon in this day and age people don't have money like that you're literally paying for your own wedding now granted if you got family members paying for it this that and the other you might want to be a great advocate and say hey i don't want you to spend all that money this is how much it should cost cake ceremony uh renting out the venue etc or if you're paying for your own wedding five thousand dollars or less why now, I'm not going to break down all the particulars because if you had only $5,000, I promise you, I promise you, boo, boo, no, I'm kidding. I promise you, you will figure out a way how to make it $5,000 or less. We either be driving up in a limousine, renting tucks or dresses, renting out a venue at a hotel or whatever the case may be, you will figure it out. Now, your marriage is not predicated upon or built on the ceremony. The ceremony is this much in your whole marriage. It's a short time frame. Now raise your hand, like I can see it, right? Raise your hand if you have been married and divorced and you went to the courthouse. Okay, raise your hand if you've been married and divorced and had a huge ceremony that cost thousands of dollars and people are still paying for it. Whether it be you, your ex, or their families, or your family. That's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's the thing. We're so built upon the whole excitement of the, the event. Oh my God, I'm getting married and she's getting married and everyone's so excited and we're giddy and everything is so juicy and like, oh, I love him and he loves me and we're going to have a great and kids and all that wonderful stuff. When reality slaps you in your face, guess what happens? The bill comes. It's kind of like, I went out to eat and I got my receipt and I was like, yeah, I take discounts. <laughs> you know, you're trying to figure out a way, ladies and gentlemen, you're trying to figure out a way not to be that guy, not to be that girl because marriage, don't get me wrong, is a very serious milestone in your life and you don't need two and three and four milestones. What am I talking about? The bill. 
of all the wedding things accumulated, the honeymoon bill, okay? Truthfully, I think the budget for everything should be $7,000. I think so. $7,000 should be the whole bill. $5,000 or less on the wedding. If you save money there, contribute that money to your honeymoon and go somewhere. Go to Mexico, go to Jamaica, go somewhere, bore, bore. And people got all these astronomical dreams of going places where your paycheck is not indicative of where you want to go, okay? They don't match up. So you have to be realistic because why do you want to be poor when you come back? People don't think about that. You go on these honeymoons, you do these weddings, and after that's it all done and all the people went to their house and you went to your house and then bills are coming to your house. Here's another one. If their family or your family pay for it, why do you want to put them in financial hardship? Now, if you're rich, if you're well off, this doesn't apply to you. This apply for people who came where I came from and then color has nothing to do with it. We're talking about low impoverished neighborhoods where a dollar is something, where $5 is more than something and where $10 can get you where you need to go with a meal in hand. You get what I'm saying? We can make $10 stretch. And that's what I'm telling people. I'm getting off topic, but stash, M1 finance, $5, you can invest $5 and I'm talking about 10. You get when I'm getting that right, but I'm off of it. If you are getting married, if you want to get married, male or female, I know you want the best wedding, the most beautiful event. You want everything to be just perfect. But I want you to, I want you to consider five thousand dollars, and then you're thinking to yourself, five thousand dollars ain't no money to do anything with. I promise you, $5,000 is a lot of money. If you go to church, some preachers and pastors will do it for free. If you do it at the church, they will let you do it at the church for free. Yeah, you may want to rent a limousine. Yeah, you may want to have food. But I promise you, if you did it and you only have $5,000, you'll make a way. You will make a way. This is Ross World. My money makes money. And if you're going over $5,000, you either got money or you broke. I'm out.